time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live, Tuesday, January 30th. Hope all what's up, well. what's up? My watch is talking to me. Um, hope all is doing, hope everyone's doing well. S&P is unchanged as we speak. NASDAQ down 109, Russell down 14, Dow up 118. Gold and silver slightly green, notes and bonds slightly green. 10-year yield down almost 1%. Oil up one and a quarter, natty gas up 2%, uh, grains all up one and a half to 2%. Euro and the pound, euro slightly green, pound unchanged, Bitcoin up a little over half percent. VIX down 1.69%, sitting at 13.37%. Is S&P going to blow through highs today? It's hovering. It's hovering right there. All-time yeah, high hit earlier like day, 49.30. Currently at 28.5. Unreal. So for power hour today, so we're right in between strikes, so my bot would go inverted. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm just going to do a little discretionary power hour trading. I just, I don't really want to load up. I've got, I've got these strikes surrounded right here. I've got two re-entries on and I've got a quiet lunch, half my quiet lunch still on, on the two and three strikes out of the money all around where we're at now. So I really don't want to load up anymore. Uh, if we get to a strike at the money straddle would be seven ish, maybe close to it, but. So I've got <clears throat> got my remaining quiet lunch on, which is looking good as we speak. Ugh, there it goes. And my two re-entries. One is kind of pushing up. It's down a little bit. The other is up a couple hundred, so... Just gonna roll with what I've got and potentially play something else if we if we move. Yeah, so I've got uh, my AM number number ones closed out. My I got a lunchtime number one still on, and lunchtime number two I put on, hoping we would get a little bit of a pullback, or at least we would. At least maybe I would book 20% profit before it went up. But uh, let's see, it looks like it was the, what bar was this? It was the one, the time was it? 120 Central. It shot up through that little consolidation on me. So uh, without booking 20%. So, so I'm kind of in the same boat with Power Hour. I'm just going to. 49.30 straddle would be it. Maybe it won't. Maybe it didn't want to go through highs. Didn't quite get there. I've got it. So my lunchtime. Go ahead. My lunchtime number two is testing the upside. So normally I would enter a centered one. It, the problem is, is that the premium is just not there. 
So, yeah, premiums getting a little skimpy today. I don't know if I want to put it on a straddle. I'm going to give it some time. I'm going to give it 10, 15 minutes here to see what price does. Does it come down on us or does it blow through highs? My futures position says it blows through highs. I'm long some ES here. I did take it. I took a uh, futures trade in silver as well. Got stopped out. So that was minus 770. Take another ES. Um, <clears throat> looking for it to blow through all time highs. I got stopped out on that one. So that was down. And then this one I'm currently in is up. One of my re-entries, I've got a 20% profit target at 410. It's currently trading at 455, so getting close. This one here. My uh, AM number one was a 1635, $1,635 winner. Number two, $1,790 winner. My lunchtime number one will be a winner, and the jury is out on my lunchtime number two. I did have two yeah. other um, re-entries this morning, NTT, that both hit 20, 40, 60 profit targets. So I got in at the open. That one hit all three profit targets, and then I got in here at about 10.06, and that one hit all three. Expected move today to the downside was about 49.06, to the upside 49.45. Have not even sniffed anywhere close to that. Had that little jolt from the jolts, and then it's been pretty choppy. What do we have here? About a 30 to yeah, about, about a 14 point range all day. <clears throat> Can't ask for much more than that. Selling zero DTE premium. So I'm going to take a look at this straddle. Data Junkie, did you get some uh, real-time paper trade data? All right, good. Yeah, that's kind of a, especially if you're you know trying to practice to go for when you go live, you definitely want to, you definitely don't want 15 minute delayed data. That's make a huge difference with those. So I'm looking at this 4930 straddle, and it doesn't look too bad. Six thirty premium. So is that the 3025s, Bumblebee? So I got filled at 640 on that. And I went smaller than I normally do. Just so you know, I position size down just a little bit in case we get a repeat of yesterday. Chad, what's your position size plan? Are you going to 
start ramping up or are you going to stick with kind of what you're yeah, doing it's good, for a while? It's a good question. It's a good question. Um, yeah, you know, I actually was thinking about that just a few days ago. Um, I typically been doing six, eight, 10 throughout the day. Um, every now and then I'll do a eight or a 10 in the morning. Um, so I may, I may be ramping up my mornings. Yeah. And I've actually, my power hour too, I may be ramping up 12, 14 contracts here in the near future. But it's, it's, it's funny you ask that because like I said, I was, I was thinking about that actually just the other day. Yeah. I didn't know if you had a specific plan or, or not. <clears throat> I, my default contracts are 10. So it's easy just to do 10. So power hour um, with my with that was that six forty fill. That would put me at a five ten five dollars ten cents profit target with a trailing stop of four. Yeah, premiums were low, Kelvin, and I've got. I've got trades all around the uh, two strikes out of the money, three strikes out of the money. So I'm just going with what I've got here, which is a couple of re-entries from a little earlier, as well as a um, half of my quiet lunch. One of my re-entries is about to hit 20%. It's trading at 430. My limit's at 410. What did I just do? Oh, man. Somehow I just closed three of my straddle at 630 when I got filled at 640. Did you put your trailing stop in wrong? Some, I think I did. Uh, this stupid, stupid shark robot thing was coming by my chair. And right as I was putting in the order and I bent down to stop it. Oh yeah. Blame it on the Zumba. And so, cause it makes noise and it's distracting. And then all of a sudden I heard a, you know, the, the, the ring of getting filled. Unreal. Over Zumba, Dick K. Okay. So essentially what I did was I cut my trade in half. So it's instead of six contracts, I got three contracts. Let's try this again. I guess if this thing rips to the upside, I'll be happy. <laughs> that happened. Uh, I think Zumba is a type of dancing. It's like a dance lesson, isn't it? Dick K. <laughs> Zumba, Roomba, whatever. This is a. It's called iRobot. iRobot. And it's, it's, you can name it when you have them, like you, you know, the app, you name it. Guess what the, guess what the name of my iRobot is? What's that? Can you guess? You think you can guess? <laughs> I don't think I can. Mahomes. Oh, wow. You got to keep that. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, that's, that's the name of it. So I hit 20% on one of my NTT re-entries here. How many of those did you put on today? Or did you, did you say that already? Yeah, I did two earlier that hit all okay. three profit targets. And then I've got the two on that I'm in right now. 
And there's another 20% on my other one. I hit something too here. What did I hit? A red bar coming in. So I hit, uh, 60% on my lunchtime, number one. Nice, nice. And I've got two of 10 contracts left on that one. Looks like we got an ECB guy talking right now. ECB President Lagarde. Just hit just hit twenty percent of my lunchtime too. Quiet lunch is dead centered. My profit target is 90%. <clears throat> it's currently at about 86. All right. <clears throat> so I got a half of my lunchtime number two at 470. So my next target for that one would be 355 and a trailing stop at 355. Didn't quite edge up to a new all-time high. We're pulling back.
Thank goodness. All all winners for my re-entry NTTs today. We'll see how good of winners these last two are. So my power hour is testing the downside. Looks good to take some risk off. So if we do if we do move, I still may enter something else. So if this market falls apart here and starts really dropping, then accidentally closing out three of my six contracts <laughs> would, would, would be helpful, would, would have helped me. <laughs> See what happens. You're pretty good at benefiting from those mistakes, Chad. So <laughs> Lately, I have been, man. Lately, I've benefited from some mistakes. I, sh I should have scaled down a little bit yesterday, honestly, in power hour. I was up 4,500 bucks. This is my, this is my uh, straddle, what I got here, power hours straddle. You can see where it's, it's kind of testing that left side. But like I said, I've, I went in with six contracts instead of my normal 10, and then I accidentally cut three at 10 cents below where I got filled. But on a 1-2 DTE double calendar earlier, it is up about 4%. I was hoping to take some of that off. I, I went in with pretty decent size because sometimes you'll get a quick 10% pop same day. Currently up about 5%. My 5.7's up 20%. I took half of that off earlier today. My 6.7's up about 15%. I have not taken any of that off yet. I was hoping to get 10%, Elliot, to take any off, but I may I may shed a little bit at the end of the day just to lighten up my position because I went in a little bigger size than I normally do. But but I like on the day before FOMC, a lot of times those things will give you 10% same day. So that's why I went in with bigger size. I'm in the... Uh, 4890s, 4970s. Same as you. I got in at, uh, I got filled at 695. Would you get in at? Okay, there you go. By the way, I bought some more ES futures on this little dip. I just don't think S&P can stay away from new all-time highs. I just don't think it can. It's a magnet.
getting close to 40% on one of my re-entries. Trading at 325, limits at 305. All-time lows. Wow. That would be something. What is the all-time low? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. A hundred? Ten? I would love to see, like, just lows of a couple months ago. Yeah, just not gonna be a not gonna be a power hour number two for me. VIX is holding steady. Had that contraction early in the day, and then it just baseline basically. So back, uh, I don't know, in the fall or I guess summer, what was, what was a, how wide was the power hour on condors you were getting? Well, it was more <clears throat> end of 2022, beginning of 2023 was the, was the real heyday. Okay. So I mean, we were getting how wide? Well, and like the first tranche of power hour, I mean, we were seeing, you know, 10, 15, 20 wide. Oh gosh. It was glorious. Yeah, that's why I I talk to so many people about what I'm doing here and I, I always tell them like I don't the market really isn't good to be doing this. I'm still booking really good profits and so I couldn't imagine what if it would just get a little more volatile and get some one day, one day it'll come. Cause I was looking at uh, when I was doing <clears throat> some performance reporting, I was looking back on my April power hour trades and I was doing like six contracts of tranche one, three contracts of two and one, tr one contract of tranche three. I just hit 40% on one of my trades. And, you know, I, I don't know. I think I made like 30 or 40 grand in one month for really? that position size. Wow. And then, I, and then I looked like October was, I think, my best month of the year, but I was doing like three times the position size. It was October was really good, but it was like my position size was way, way bigger. So, what was your risk when you were doing those? You know, when you were in one contract, what was the I was, risk? <clears throat> I was using like $4 stops. On tranche one, three dollar stops on tranche three, and two dollar stops on tranche three dollar tra uh, stops on tranche two, and two dollar stops on tranche three. Oh, huh. If I can get a little bounce up that straddle, Let's see, we'll fill 20%. My pin on that straddle is 49.30.
get close to hitting 80 percent and to be out of my lunch time number one Eighty percent would be a buck ten. It's currently at a buck seventy. So I've just got one contract left on each of my re entries. My quiet lunch is sitting at eighty eight and a half percent, looking for ninety. <clears throat> so, what do you got there, Theta? You got the uh, plus, was that about third plus thirteen hundred roughly? Is that my reading that right? Five, it looks like. Oh, oh, yeah, up there in the top left. Okay, I was just trying to add those in my head. Nice. Rank hitting power hour one. I'm looking for forty percent of my lunchtime number two. I've got an order at three fifty five. It's currently at four forty five. So unfortunately, I went a little lighter on trades than I normally would have. I was around midday. I had to be away from my computer, so I didn't. I didn't do a DKS. I didn't do as many re-entries as I may have. I did do the one quiet lunch. Still a good day, though. One of my bots just did. Well, I did the O2 DTE double calendar this morning. Little winner. 40% on half my quiet lunch and then about to hit 90% on the second half and then four for four on the NTTs. I didn't, my plan was to do more NTTs because my Tuesday trade is the early exit, which I'm not really that big of a fan of anyway. So I, scrapped that and entered an NTT at the open. Seventeen thirty five is a good day. So tomorrow for the FOM, so no power hour live stream tomorrow. Chad will be streaming live in the morning. For good morning, Mighty 90 and runners, and then no power hour live stream, but we'll stream starting 15 minutes before FOMC. So that's 1245 Central. Uh, you can check out my trade plan. I'll do the two FOMC trades, which is selling an iron condor right before the data released, closing it out right after Powell takes the stand, and then entering a long strangle right after the press conference starts. And um, and I'm also going to, same time that I enter my FOMC Iron Condor, I'm also going to enter a 1DTE. Nothing in the morning for me. I like seeing you guys um, having almost identical trades, starting to think alike. I do. I like the, I like the trailing down and then the ratchet down of stops. I just don't like how much manual entry it is. So I've been, I've been playing with trailing percent stops, trailing premium stops, trailing plus ratchet, 
I, I definitely like the how it reduces risk when you ratchet it down, but it's just a lot of a lot of manual watching and waiting and manual manual ratcheting. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do there yet. What would be fantastic if Trade Steward would come out with their trailing stop. And I could still use Trade Steward to manually enter, but then it would automate the stop process. That would be ideal. Now, all ratcheting or trailing of stops in Trade Steward is manual at this time. I'm knocking on the door of my 90% profit target here on the quiet lunch. Currently trading at a buck thirty five. Steve, Steve, it's a historic month for me. Profit wise. Yep. Nice. And right there, just locked it in, I believe. Got got out of half of my power hour number one. So I don't think there's any way I could I needed I needed to be have a seven grand day to hit six figures in January. Awesome. Started started the day at ninety three thousand three hundred sixty eight. Beautiful. I uh, never in my wildest dreams that I ever uh, think I would hit six figures in a month. Yeah, that's big time. Especially in that short of a time period from going from paper trading to, to yep. real trading. Okay. So your goal so... next month is 200k then, right? <laughs> Man, I honestly haven't even thought about it. It's just been such a wild ride over the last couple months of just the success. I've just never seen so much consistent success. New all-time highs, ladies and gents. Yeah, I got to get my stop in for this straddle. Although it it's almost dead center now. I still better get it in. So I got stopped out of my remaining contract on one re-entry. I got stopped quiet. out of stuff too here. My quiet lunch was sitting at 90% and it did not hit. Did not fill. That's it. Still 82%, but hopefully this thing doesn't get all yesterday on us. A second here. What, what am I doing? Still hanging on to four ES futures in case this thing wants to rip. So 
So my 40% for this straddle would be 385, and that would also be my trailing stop. Now it's uh, looking like my mistake kind of hurt me, but <laughs> can't complain. 367 million to the sell side, early indication. Yeah, Vic's got a little pop going on that new all-time high. All right, so my lunchtime number two was stopped out after after booking 20%. So that's pretty much a scratch trade. And then my last two contracts of lunchtime number one that stopped at 225. Now let's see if I got some, let's see if I got calls that are worth anything. All right, my quiet lunch showing up 91%. Still hasn't filled, trading at a buck 25. There it is. Filled at a buck 35. So the only thing I have left is one of my re entries, one contract, and it's nice and centered. 60% no. profit target at 205. It's trading at 255. I came back down, didn't it? Lunchtime number one was 2105 in profits, and my lunchtime number two was minus 175 bucks. So I just got two contracts left of my straddle. We'll pull back. Just poked its head up to 49.31 and retraced right away. Vic's still climbing a little bit. Yeah, it poked its head up just to stop me out of two, two trades. Well, that might have taken me, it took me under seven grand for the day too, so. Uh, you got to get over six figures tomorrow, then you got one more day. Shouldn't have spoke to, I spoke a little bit too soon. <laughs> Unless this, these two strat, these two straddle Everybody, contracts. Everybody, you need to go back and delete all your con congratulatory posts to Chad. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I was putting in orders, OCOs. I didn't even read them. So you're saying Chad just went wide right on that one? <laughs> yeah, no kidding, man. Really jinxed it. <laughs> I definitely jinxed it myself. Yeah, because now it's really falling and my straddle's going to get stopped. So, yep, I'm, looks like I'm going to need tomorrow. Man, I jinxed myself, damn it. <laughs> Didn't like all-time highs today. No, sniffed it and said, the water's cold. Of course, there is 25 minutes left.
Hot Norwood, man. I have a friend that's a Bills fan. Oh, man. Who's their current Maybe. kicker? Is that him? No. Norwood was the one he's that... The, yeah, he's back like 20 yeah, years ago. Yeah, when the Bills were in the Super Bowl with Jim Kelly, a quarterback. But Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's the guy that just missed it wide right against us? I don't remember his name. I didn't text. I didn't text my buddy after that game. He, I knew he was devastated. Yeah, Bass. That's right. Yeah. The the game that we came back in 13 seconds, the AFC title game a few years ago. I let him have one of my season tickets, and he flew in from LA because that's where he lives. And he brought a buddy of his. And so the three of us were sitting there. And when they scored with 13 seconds left, like the jubilation they had was like almost they were in tears. They were so happy. And then, you know, we kick a field goal in 13 seconds <laughs> and win in overtime. Like to see that I, I didn't even know what to say to him, to be honest with you. Yeah. All the, the Bills fans, I was at the game too. All the Bills fans around fans around us were just, oh man, they were talking so much trash. <laughs> yeah, it was just complete just devastation. Ripped, ripped their hearts out. Two completely end of the spectrum emotionally, you know, up, up and down. Well, I was at the game. So Brian, I, went, I went with Brian, Matt B, and Brett. And Brian was driving. He was so pissed that he, he left. They Those three left. And oh. they missed it. I and I stayed. I was like, I'm not leaving. We still got to get a kickoff. And yeah, they were. So I would they, have, they missed the whole deal. I would have never forgiven myself if I would have left. I told him, I said, you know, these heartbreaking losses, like it'll make it that much sweeter when it does happen for you guys. You know, they got a great quarterback, but. This year might have been their year, and you know, Mahomes goes in and just takes it from them. They may not, they may not win one with as long as Mahomes is gonna be around. I can get a little bounce back to center. I should be able to hit my 60% here on my last remaining. Yeah, I'd like to see this bounce back up to 49.30. That would be a pin. I do like the VIX going up, though. So my 1-2 DTE is now up about 7%. So it's it's trying to get me 10%. Touched all the time. Huh? That just came right back. Come on, SPX. I command you to go to 4930. <laughs> and Yeah, I probably need to save it for a day that it means more. I mean, I'm already going to have a green day today, so I just need to save that. Vic's really climbing. Climb, climb, climb. It's just pumping in some more premium for FOMC.
Still at 367 million to the sell side. under 20 minutes to go. We get a bounce here. I'm actually going to lower my limit order. Try to squeeze a little bit more out of here. Got to have something on going into the bell. Uh, I'm actually looking at trade steward, Naughty Dog, when I say that, because it is nice. It sh it actually shows you the percent profit right here. These are all closed, but it does the same thing while it's live, which is kind of nice. Well, if I would have left my order at 60%, it would be hitting shortly if we keep stay here or bounce a little bit, but I reduced it to a buck. So let's see if my uh, discretion pays off here. Michael Todd, you all you all out? Or do you have a number two? Another four K day for you, Michael Todd? Nice. Oh, Moro, I just saw you ask that question about my other day trading strategies. Uh, yes. I don't. Those are a lot riskier because there's no stops. So mighty 90 and runners are usually somewhere between like 3 and 6K, 3 and 7K a month. I might start going bigger in those too, though. Still 367 million sell side.
my power hour is still hanging in. My one power hour trade. I've gotten out of 20%. 385 is my next target. 40%. It's currently at five bucks. Michael Todd, someone that probably needs to start up in his up in his contracts too, right? The real question, Michael Todd, is how'd your girlfriend's account do today? Oh yeah. Hey, one thing I'm on the verge of doing is shutting down my Airbnb. Yeah, Vic's starting to roll over now. Forty nine thirties a pin. Job fish. I'm gonna go ahead. And, I'm gonna go ahead and lower my profit target on this. See if I can get back up to seven k. Trading your P and L. <laughs> no. Uh, Three eighty five is my target. It's at four thirty five, four twenty five. See what will my next one be six forty. Two sixty. I'm gonna lower this to two sixty. I only have two contracts left. Okay, so I set my power hour at sixty percent profit, skipping the forty percent. All right, market on close imbalance incoming shortly. Anything over three billion? One point six billion buy side. Whoa! Oh, sell. Excuse me. Oh. So no MOC trade. Two more points higher for a pin. Got my limit order on my last one at a buck, straighten at a buck forty. Ten minutes to go. Anybody else in on the forty nine thirty straddle? All right, nice. Be more trader. Okay, so I've blown through my 40% profit. So.
Yeah, Laura, I'm going to uh, trade the two FOMC trades in my trade plan. The uh, short iron condor before the data release and then the long strangle after the press conference conference starts. The only difference is I'm also going to, I'm not going to do a one DTE trade in the morning, but I'm going to put my one DTE on about the same time that I do my uh, FOMC iron condor. And for me, I'll look at, uh, you know, depending on what price does in the morning, I'll still look at putting on an AMI or condor, but definitely won't. I want to be out of positions uh, or, or have booked, you know, 40% profit, 60% profit. Maybe I have a contract or two left, but my, one of my two red days I've had since I've been trading this way happened on the 18th. I think I posted that earlier. Okay. Loss right over the lunch hour. Uh, when he was talking, those were my two lunchtime trades, big losers. My last contract is about to fill at a dollar. Trading tomorrow. And Vic's all the way back down. Yeah. Wild. Need to hold its head up a little bit. Get back up to It's close to a buck. Now it's back up to a buck sixty. Not gonna be not gonna not gonna happen for me. Should have taken my forty percent profit. Five minutes to go. So close to a dollar, it's back up to 260. Oh. I was I was at 10 cents from getting stopped. Just a little little one two point bounce will get me.
Here we go. Just a little bit higher. You see 4925, 4926. There we go. Filled it a buck. Didn't even have to get to 25. Keep going. Nice. Three minutes. It's trying. Forty nine thirty. VIX, meanwhile, hitting lows of day. Wow. Look at that range today on the daily bar. I mean, that is just a little speck. Good, San Ray. Glad to hear things are starting to come together. I know it's kind of a, uh, feels like a foreign language at first, but once you start actually doing the trades, paper trade, and a little bit of real money, it, you start kind of understanding what we're talking about, it all comes together pretty quick. Work on that. You can work on your nerves by paper trading. Nice, Cosmo. Already got your trades uploaded and everything with Trader Sync. Well, here we go. A little markup into the close. 40 seconds. 49.30? Or 26. Keep going. Come on, pin this baby. Not going to do it. I needed the push that I had yesterday. Five, four, three, two, one. Ding. All right, all take care. Have a good night. Uh, live stream Chad's in the morning, and then we'll be back for FOMC at 1245 Central. Take care. Have a good night. You guys.